I, I think that's a big thing. It comes from the home, uh, and then you know, with your identity, who you are. I know my growing up, my like I said, my uh, my dad would always, you know, you you know who you are, you know where you're from. Uh, not not to say it in a bragging, boastful way, but you know, you know where you're from. You, you know what tribe you are. You know what clan you are. You know what society member you are. And I think that. Coming from home was, is a big deal. Uh, as I said, I was fortunate enough to have that. Uh, kids nowadays, we have a lot that are not coming from, a, you know, a single or two-parent home, or you know, some might be in and out of foster homes. Different, all the different scenarios. But I think if they can understand that, you know, hey, I, I am a tribal member, or I am from this family line. They, you know, their families help connect with them and understand their, you know, what tribes are, what their culture. Uh, start learning languages. Start learning. Well, there's a lot of different things I, I think I take into consideration with that. Myself, growing up, my, I had a grandma that lived with me. She spoke fluently. I didn't take advantage of that. <laughs> Today, I kind of regret that, like, like Jerome was saying, you know, with one of the language. I, I heard it every day. Uh, I was fortunate enough to hear the Hidaja language. I took the class in school, uh, asked my grandma in the morning how to say a sentence, and remembered a lot of it then, but after I left, I didn't keep it or carry it on. So. I kind of uh, kind of down on myself about that for a lot of years. Uh, and in the Rickera language as well, through songs and different stuff, I, I kind of forget some words here and there. And it takes me a while. I don't have my uh, father here anymore to ask him what this, hey, what's the word in this song again? Uh, and I have a few uncles uh, that are kind of gone now that helped me a lot with that. So uh, when I think of my age group with the identities, we, we know we're Native American, we know we're from Fort Berthold or whatever reservation, what tribes we are, but you know, there's more to it. Um, well, well, what about where you're from? What about what tribe, you know, learn, you know, if you can learn a story from, like he said, you know, everything, it costs something, but it, it's not, um, I guess you're saying not a price you're paying, you're, 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 getting, you're paying for something to learn for the rest of your life, uh, knowledge you're gonna keep and pass on. So I, I take that, where identity, you know, and as myself, if I could share something with, with not only my kids, my nephews, nieces, you know, any other students that ask, you know, family members, and I'm, I do that a lot, I guess I'm fortunate enough that if they do ask me and I can remember it, <laughs> I'm pretty forgetful too, but, um, so I'm thankful for that, that I learned, you know, not only I'd say an identity, but I learned, you know, my culture, my way of life that my parents learned, uh, their parents, and on and on and so we get together if, like if we're sitting around we ask each other hey do you remember this or this and it's always good it takes me a while to remember stuff uh, I know Charlie kind of looks at me kind of gives me a crazy look here and there like <laughs> I can't remember stuff but um, that, that helps every day uh, it helps more than in the school setting I think um, you know you get kids coming in and out you know they might not you know, they might see something and curious, um, and, and I think that should be a big thing where if they're curious about it, yeah, ask about it. You know, if we can help, that's, that's our job. <laughs>